Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Sass, and this is Medieval Dynasty. Medieval Dynasty was developed by RenderCube and published by Top Blitz Production with a release date September 23rd, 2021. Medieval Dynasty is a single player or multiplayer RPG crafting building game where you hunt, survive, build, and lead in the harsh Middle Ages. Create your own medieval dynasty, ensure its long-lasting prosperity, or die trying. Play alone or team up with friends to enjoy the ultimate medieval experience. Alright, so Medieval Dynasty came out into early access back in 2021. Um, it had a few issues here and there when it first uh, released. Obviously, any game that drops into early access is going to have its problems, but they've done a ton of updates to it over the past couple of years. Uh, it just went into full release not too long ago. Really, really excited about this one. It's supposed to be a lot of fun. Uh, I like playing medieval games like this. It's always been a setting that's really, really, uh, really piqued my interest. So, uh, yeah, we're going to check it out today. Uh, starting off with a new episode of Survive with Sass, new series. I'll probably keep this one going for quite a while. We'll dig into this game as much as we can and really, really see what all the meat and potatoes are about. So, yeah, pretty excited about it. Um, without further ado, I think we're just going to dive on in and we'll see how far we can get. All right, here we go. We're going to Medieval Dynasty. Uh, we are playing the uh, test version. Um, I updated to the dev test version because uh, they uh, released um, a brand new update uh, I think it was about a week ago. A um, whole bunch of fixes and balancing and everything like that that came to the test version. So we're going to be playing that today. Uh, we are going to play a single player game. Um, there are two different types of games that you can play. Um, they're a little bit different from each other. Uh, the single player game uh, follows the story of Rasimir. And you basically, um, it's basically more story focused. And then you have the multiplayer, the Oxbow. Um, which is for a uh, single player or up to four player co-op. Um, you can create your own character and everything like that. Um, we're going to be playing the single player mode today. Let's go ahead and start ourselves a new game. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. Dun, 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 dun. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Mm, so catchy. All right. That was pretty epic. <laughs> we got a little intro scene. Not too shabby. I've gotten to play uh, quite a few games from Top Blitz Productions, which is uh, the guys that published the video or published the game here. Uh, they do a pretty good job with their games, so um, they've managed to collect up a, a bunch of really good developing stupid studios. I'm pretty excited to check this one out. All right, here we are. New quest: starting a new life. We need to talk to the Castlan. All right. Yes, welcome to the world. I think we're at the crossroads of Hornica, uh, Gustovia, and Denica. So there's uh, quite a few little like towns and cities and stuff in the map. It's actually quite well designed. 
E to pick up items off the ground. Collecting resources, E to collect. All the basic resources can be collected in the wild. Just look around and reach out for them. Sticks are the easiest to find, but on the other hand, stones and herbs are much harder to spot. Move the cursor on the desired item until its name is shown and collect it. Resources are used for various purposes like building, crafting, healing, or eating. Alrighty then. I yeah, can also collect stuff off of trees by pressing and holding E. Bigger. Since we're here, we might as well just cruise along as we go here and we'll collect up a few uh, few materials and stuff. So we're probably gonna need um, need a couple of items just to get started. Do some crafting, so we'll collect up a few little stones and things here on our way over to talk to the Castellan. The game is very, very pretty looking. Uh, they've done a great job with the, the lighting is really nice and the atmosphere is really good. Very, very pretty games. Excited to dig into it. I did play it for, I think I played for about, what, 10, 15 minutes um, the other day just to test it out and see if uh, my PC would be able to run it. And uh, yeah, it ran pretty smoothly. Uh, had a little bit of like hop, skips, and jumps here and there. Uh, we are running on uh, high settings for everything, so not quite epic, but still on high settings, um, my my PC seems to do okay. And I've, I've got an uh, got an i7 CPU and a 2070 GPU, so not crazy, crazy uh, hardware, but. Enough to at least uh, make things look pretty. Oh, look at that. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Let's grab ourselves a... We have a... Screenshot. <laughs> we are going to need some, uh, some thumbnails and stuff. So. Ooh, got some flowers, some daisies, and dandelions. Very nice. You have to run, space to jump. Uh, it looks like control to crouch. Punch and block. Gabby. My character does move quite well. Oh my god, look at the ducks. Oh, is that? They're not ducks, they're goose. <laughs> the goose like, is so cute. He's adorable. Hey, buddy. Uh, so we need to find the Castellan. I think that's him right there. Uh, Unigost. Those eyes. I didn't think I would see them again. One blue is the sky, and the other black is a lump of coal. Funny, my grandmother used to describe them exactly the same way. So you're not a ghost. Good. For a second there, I thought I'd lost it. <laughs> but your eyes, you look just like him. Uh, sorry, you must have mistaken me with someone. I'm new to these parts. I just arrived in the valley, actually. My name is Rasimir. I'm Wanda's son, aren't you? Jordan's nephew. What? Did you know my mother? Not really. I knew of her. We didn't ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his family separate. I don't think I understand. You will. Wait, what do you mean by did I know her? Is she well? I hope she is now, wherever that might be. I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it. This world. I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should have to lose their loved ones at such a young age. Uh, it's okay they've died so I could live and I plan to make the best of this life if I can. 
In order to honor their sacrifice. That's very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud hearing that. You mentioned my uncle Yordan. I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Rasimir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your uncle Yordan is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was a dear friend of mine. Oh no, that can't be. What happened? Don't worry. He passed. He died peacefully in his sleep. He didn't suffer, I can promise you that. So what should I do now? You are free to go wherever you like and start a new life. I hereby grant you permission as the castellan to build and farm on any unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Just like that? I can take the land free of charge? Well, you'll have to pay taxes to the king annually. But apart from that, you are free to do as you please. As long as you don't break the law, of course. Or at least if you don't get caught doing so. <laughs> that sounds amazing. The valley looks beautiful as well. I think I'll stay here and see what my fate has in store for me. I'm glad to hear that. You can find resources all over the land. Grab a few rocks and sticks from the ground and craft yourself a simple axe. With that, with it, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. Then you can create a wooden hammer that will be crucial in the building process. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. All right. When you build yourself a home, come back to Gustovia and talk to my wife. Do Dobrenega? Do Dobrenega? <laughs> These names, they're wild. Dobrenega. She manages the tavern. Ask her to feed you. You must be famished. And then grab some beer for both of us and come back. I'll tell you some stories about Jordan. Sounds like a plan to me. Hmm. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, so crafting, 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 crafting. We need to make a stone axe. And he's, he said we could just kind of build wherever, so I assume we'll just pick a spot. Uh, okay, Q to open your crafting menu. And crafting. We got your stone axe, wooden hammer, your snow, snowballs. Oh, that's cool. Simple torch, wooden spear, stone knife, stone sickle. Right, so first thing we need to make is the stone axe. We'll go ahead and get that up and running. Tree cutting. Uh, Q for creation menu. To cut down a tree, you will need to have an axe. This tool can be bought or crafted in the creation menu in the handcrafting section. Better axes can be crafted in the smithy. Put an axe in one of the quick slots at the inventory and take it out. Approach a tree and start cutting it until it drops down, then chop it down into smaller parts to acquire logs and other resources like sticks and feathers. If you don't dig up a stump, it will regrow into a tree. Okay, cool. It's got like a little growing system. All right, here's our inventory. Looks like we start with a decent amount of stuff. Um, we've got a simple torch. Oat rolls, dried meat, some dandelions, daisies, about 50 coins, broadleaf plantains type of herb used for healing purposes. Oh, okay. Basic trousers, shoes, and a shirt. And a couple of apples. All right, then. Oh, we've got our axe. Let's see, where should we build a town? I'm thinking we probably want to be near some fresh water. Uh -huh. This map is massive, so we definitely want to pick somewhere that's sort of central. I'm thinking probably around here where this little lake is. That allows us to go to a bunch of different towns from there. Yeah, because it looks like we've got roads here, here, here. 
think right around here is going to be the place to be. Maybe we'll maybe we'll build on this side so that we are a little closer to Gustovia because it looks like that's where our first quests are going to be. Uh, how do we place F to set a waypoint? Yeah, let's do that. We'll head that way. 350 meters. Right? To pull out my torch. R to equip and unequip weapons. Okay. All right, well, let's head, uh, let's head north. I guess we're not going north, we're going southwest. Head that way. Let's see what we can find. Let's grab a couple of these stones on our way. So I did say at the start there that stones and herbs are a lot harder to find than sticks. So i collect some of those up. I'm going to always just drop them in a pile if we need to. Dandelions. New level, survival. Mm -hmm. Okay. St. John's Wart. Daisies. We're finding lots of plants. It's not that hard to find. Herbs. <laughs> Going this way. I don't know. Oh wow. So the map looks really big, but in relation well, like we haven't been running very long and we've already gotten this far. Now let's uh let's build over by the lake. Let's do that. Only four hundred meters away. It's not that far to go. Get rid of animal spot rabbit. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what do we have here? Like another stone axe? Cool. Abandoned supplies. We've got some apples. Okay, so E and Q looks like it maximizes. So you just go E and then F to take all. Perfect. All right then. Can't chop those. Uh, oh, we've got some logs here though. We'll take those with us. Uh, overload, tab for inventory. You're carrying too much on your shoulders. You'll walk slower when overloaded. Uh, if you want to carry more, get a backpack or a pouch. Remember that you can turn off the tutorials in the settings. Okay. So we're overweight. We just drop a drop. Just let's just drop one. Okay. Inspector mode. The inspector mode lets you see dropped items like spears, the villages near you, villagers near you and stats of NPCs you are able to recruit. The inspector mode uses stamina. You can upgrade it with talents. Oh, that's cool. Like highlights, different items. That'll be nice if we ever like accidentally drop something. Be able to find it quite easily. All right, let's head up and over the mountains here towards the lake. go see what we can find a nice spot to build this is a pretty solid area here it's quite flat so might actually be the place to build but we'll go over the mountain and we'll see what else looks like on the other side it would be kind of cool to build like a little town around the lake I feel like uh or like in the Hobbit, we could build Lake Town. That'd be a lot of fun. Let's see what we can figure. It's a beautiful world, though. Absolutely gorgeous. Done a great job with this one. 
Mm. Animal spot hawk. Ooh, hawks. That's cool. Oh, look at him. He's pretty. Gorgeous birds. We have hawks out here where I live. They're absolutely beautiful birds. Crap, I went the wrong way. Wasn't paying attention to my indicator. <laughs> Got distracted by the birdie. There's that crossroads. That's over here. Get tired quite quickly. I wonder if this because we're it's probably because we're overweight right now. A wolf. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, run. <laughs> okay, well that didn't uh that didn't last long. Uh, I've been auto saved. It did. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going. <laughs> Oopsie Daisy. <laughs> I got an achievement. <laughs> uh, Alright, maybe we should stick a little closer to the town. Maybe just for now. At least until we get some... Uh, we get some weapons and stuff on the go. Is that, uh, that definitely did not work out well. All right. Let's, do, let's try that again. Um, yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll build ourselves just a little house over here by the river or something. And then uh, eventually we'll build ourselves a town on the lake. We could expand that later on. I think we'll just do right about here. <laughs> do we have our axe? No, we got to make that as well. All right. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> the game is known to be quite challenging. It's not easy at all. So, to uh, have to be careful. Make sure that we save often as well. I probably should have saved when we got um, up near the uh, up near the mountains there, but that's okay. Try again. Let's head over here. Probably a nice flat area that we can build at. Oh, yeah, this is perfect right here. We've got roads here. It's like a bit of a crossroads. And then we could probably build right about here. Yeah, I think this will be a good spot. We were right on the river. We got a nice little comfy area and then plenty of roads to travel around. Got some a bronze axe. Oh my god, heck yeah, let's go. And loot, baby. Planks. Those a small bundle of cabbages. Very nice. Anything else on the ground here? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Some mushrooms. Let's go grab some of those. We're probably going to need them to eat. Here's our level up and survival again. Alrighty, so let's pull out our axe. We already read this. 
chapter one, a new beginning. We need to craft a wooden hammer. We need to cut three trees and collect 32 straw. Wonder how we're supposed to make straw. Like chop bushes or something. Maybe the reeds. Can we chop the reeds? Oh, there we go. Just collect it right out of the uh, right out of the reeds. That's pretty nice. So you don't have to grow it and harvest it. What did I get? Thirty-two. It said. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. And cut trees times three, and we need a wooden hammer. Right. Let's chop, chop, chop. Nice little maple tree here. Building Q for creation menu. Creation menu lets you create a wide array of items and buildings. Chop down this maple tree. There we go. And then we'll need one more. There we go. That's three trees. And I think we just need to chop them into logs. Yep. There we are. Overloaded. That's okay. Try to get these logs out of the way here. Go. Uh, wooden hammer. Oop. No. Put that on our quick right here. Actually, we should or a bronze axe as well, because. Look at that, that thing's nice. Wonderful. All right, uh, build your first house. Um, select build mode, right mouse button. The building hammer can be used in three different ways. It enables you to build structures, repair them, or destroy unwanted ones. The, the mode is selected through the select build mode menu while holding a hammer. Remember that you can turn off tutorials in the settings, okay. What do we have here? Build, repair, destroy. Okay. We um what are we missing here. Oh there we go. Buildings. Farming, survival, extraction, houses. There we go. Simple, small house. Jesus. That's, that's definitely not small. <laughs> mm -hmm. right, let's put it uh, right here on the lake, or on the river. That's a good place for it. Yeah, let's do that. Boop. There we go. Need 10 stones for the foundation. Just click left mouse button, build it up. Oh, yeah, I can see the little green indicator. There we go. Look at that. Uh, we're going to need eight logs. I think we have enough of those with our tree here. Seven, we need one more. Eight. Go. Okay, so what do we need for the walls? Picks and logs. So we're basically just going to need to chop a whole whack of trees down. 
one log each. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight logs. And eight times eight is 64, so 64 sticks. So we'll have to collect up some more sticks as we go here, but it'll be fine. Got enough sticks now. Lots of sticks here, lots of stones. Keep on collecting. I know we're going to need a ton of these materials and stuff, so we might as well grab as many as we can. All right, it's starting to get overloaded, so let's go and build up some of our walls here. There we go. That looks pretty nice. I like it. It's very nice. Ran into logs. Need some more. And chop down some more trees. I think we're going to need probably like another three or four trees. Two, three, four logs. Switch back to our hammer again. I like the building of this. This is really cool. Need some more logs. All right, so that's all the sticks we need. Looks like we need logs and straw for up on top. Some more logs there as well. Uh, water hydration is crucial in the wilderness. When the water parameter is depleted, you will start to lose health. You can refill it by drinking various beverages. Water can be stored and transported in buckets and a water skin. Okay. Oh, we've got a river right here. We should be able to just drink from the river. Sure. Perfect. That'll do. We're definitely going to need some more logs. Keep an eye out for those. It's like we need one per piece here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this one takes two. So we need 10 more logs. It's not too bad. It's not a ton of resources. Like it's a decent amount, but not unreasonable. Broke our hammer. Uh, I think you've just broken your first tool, and certainly not the last one. You can craft most basic tools by hand, but they're cheap and fragile. It's wiser to focus on producing and using metal tools with higher durability. And if you have an identical tool in reserve, it will you will immediately grab it after the old one breaks. Remember that you can turn off the turtles. Okay. It's 
going to remind me that every time, I think. Um, where was it here? Oh, we need a log for the hammer, right? So we need to go chop down some more trees. Which we're going to need more trees anyways because of the um, rest of the house. We need 10 logs. So let's collect up some of these mushrooms here. We are going to need some food soon. Although, I think we already have addition 100%. It's the dried beet we should hold on to, probably. Same with the oat roll. I'm assuming this stuff will last quite a lot longer. Let's eat 10, 4, and 3. What about the cabbage? Straight food. Okay, let's... Chow down a couple of cabbages. Plus two health, 150 seconds. Effect duration, less water consumption for daisies. That's cool. Dandelion, less stamina. Ah. Okay. So the different herbs and stuff give you bonuses. Oh yeah, there we go. So we're going to use less stamina. We're going to use less water while we're working here. So that's pretty handy. We'll have to keep an eye out for more of those dandelions and stuff new building unlocked the well hmm okay cool all right so we ended up breaking our axe and our hammer but it's a good thing we've got this extra one with us let's go ahead and let's make another stone axe and then i think we'll make us another hammer as well i think i'm going to try and hold on to this bronze axe for a little while just in case we need it as a weapon because i believe it's quite a bit stronger it does 50 slashing damage and the basic one yeah, it only does 40 so it's an extra 10 damage so that's good there we go switch back three logs there Five, six, seven. We've got three more. Sleep. Uh, to sleep, you will need to build a house or craft a campfire. Sleeping is available between 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. If you choose to sleep, your character will wake up the next morning. Sleeping restores the amount of health proportional to the amount of time you slept. Going to sleep during season change will always result in waking up in your own house. Oh, okay, cool. That way you don't freeze to death out in the wilderness or something when it goes to winter. It's very cool. All right, lots of logs here. There'd be plenty now. We are very overweight, but that's right. We're going to end up using most of this anyways right now. Enjoying this so far. It's it's pretty mellow and relaxed, especially right now since we're just uh, doing some building and stuff. But you know, well, as long as we avoid the uh, as long as we avoid the wolves, we should be all right. <laughs> Try and stay away from them. Look at that, that's coming together really nicely. So pretty. All right, look at this. Na -na -na -na. A good little jingle, I like that. Uh, chapters. Chapters are a series of missions that appear at the beginning of the game and introduce you to the game's mechanics. It also assists you in the initial stages of your new settlement's construction. Completing chapters allows you to unlock the next development stage, which determines the maximum limit of buildings you can construct. Okay, cool. Oh, look at this. We got like beds and storage chests and everything. Oh my God, that's awesome. And decent. Mini ghost story one, talk to Donna Brega. Okay, so we are supposed to go 
and visit Buddy's wife there at some point, but it's starting to get dark. So I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, keep collecting some materials and stuff here. I wanted to look for some more flowers. And we'll have to keep an eye out for some more dandelions and stuff, because that's super helpful being able to reduce my stamina and water consumption. I bet you there's probably other ones as well that we can eat like maybe increase your health or something like oh saint john's wort that's what i wanted to look at what does that do for me a type of herb used to used for detoxifying purposes found in the wilderness during spring summer and autumn it can be consumed or used for crafting minus two percent poisoning oh okay Cool. Now we're definitely going to want some of that because if we do end up getting poisoned by something or we eat bad food or whatever, it'll help us stay alive a little longer. Very cool. I like that. Different herbs, different abilities. A lot to this game already. Look at our fancy little house. Isn't that beautiful? Grab ourselves a screenshot here. And pretty house. You know what else we can build? Buildings, survival, extraction. What is our well? Okay. Husbandry, farming, an orchard. A type of farmland can be used to grow trees and hop plants. Orchard workers are assigned at the farm shed. Production. Okay, this stuff's all locked. Services, the builder's hut, market stall. Wow, there is so much to this game. Resources, storage. Unreal. Furniture and decorations, traps. Oh, here we go. Campfire. Yeah, let's put a campfire out front. There we go. That's cool. I like that a lot. What else do we have? Can we do some decorations or something out front here? Benches? We haven't unlocked those yet. All good. We got around to that. That's cool. Alright, sun's starting to go down. I think we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Let's see what our tools are sitting at for 85%, 78%. I think what we're gonna do is we're going to craft a new hammer. A new axe, just in case. And then craft ourselves the spear. I need another log for a wooden spear. Okay. To a stone knife. Knife, a wooden spear, and a rabbit trap. Okay. Cool. Let's, uh, let's grab ourselves. Another log here. Logs are screeching away out there. It's very accurate. Picked up all these logs. I'll probably just throw the extras in the box there, just because we're gonna need them eventually, anyways. So, unripe berry. Hmm. What can we do? This one. 
locked. Can't do any crafting on the fireplace. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, right. We wanted to make our wooden spear. We need more stones as well. Before it gets too dark out. Let's see if we can go collect up a couple more stones. Because I'd like to make a pickaxe as well. And then we've got all of our tools and our weapons. And we'll be ready to go for tomorrow. Let's see if we can find a couple of random stones laying around. One, two, just need a couple more. Hmm. Don't see any more stones. Oh, there's one. Perfect. Pickaxe. And what was the other one? The spear. Alright, there we go. Got most of our materials. So let's head on back to the house. And I think we're going to sleep for the night. Got all our tools and everything set up. So we're pretty much set there now. and drop this stuff in here, the planks, the wood, anything that we're not really using right now. We'll just go ahead and toss it in there. The unripe berries, we don't really need those. Can't eat them anyways, so. Um, I think they just make us sick. Yeah, 20% poisoning. Uh, mushrooms are 2% poisoning as well, so let's throw all those in there. Feathers can Day, early plantain. All right, I think that's pretty good there. Let's go ahead and have ourselves a little nap. Sleep till the next day. No. All right, so I think uh, we're gonna head back to town. Oh, oh it's raining. Okay, let's, uh, let's make sure we've got all of our tools and stuff on our hot bar here. Uh, let's go, let's put the wooden spear at the top, so that way we can switch to it really quickly. We're gonna have the pickaxe. Stone axe, wooden hammer. What else did we have? A stone knife. And then this was for healing. All right. So I've got spear, stone axe, stone pickaxe, stone knife, and hammer. All right, perfect. All right, let's head back into town. Let's go talk to Dona Brega. All right, Deb, 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 Deb. Let's go talk to Deb. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Deb. It's gonna be easier. It's a very interesting name.
<laughs> there she is. Hey, you. Uh, hi, you're Donna Brega, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Rasmir. That's right. Nice to meet you too, Rasmir. What brings you to me? Uh, Unigus told me that you can fix me up with some food. I haven't had a proper meal in weeks. Uh, well, it depends on what proper means to you, but I can offer you something warm and filling. That sounds more than amazing. Uh, there you go. Oh, we got some porridge. Now tell me something about yourself. How do you know my husband? Uh, there's nothing much to say, really. I've just arrived at the valley looking for my uncle, Jordan. Didn't expect to be done searching so quickly, to be honest. Oh, yes, he was Unigos' friend. I remember now hearing that he had eyes just like yours. I'm sorry for your loss. That's okay. I don't even remember him, really. Most that I know about him is from my mother's stories. She always looked up to her big brother. Loved him furiously, even when he stopped visiting. A lot of people did, from what I've heard. There was something special about him. Yeah, tough shoes to fill, huh? And the only shoes that you need to worry about filling are your own. Every man is the architect of his own fortune. Thank you for saying that. That's what I needed to hear, but let's talk about me anymore. What's your story? I was part of a traveling band of troubadours. Troubadours, and uh, never managed to learn how to play any instrument, but I was pretty decent with my singing. Our travels brought us to the valley not long after the death of your uncle. I still remember seeing Unigost for the first time. He had so much sadness in his eyes. Jordan wasn't just a friend of his, he was a part of him. The band left a few days later. I stayed. There was something about Unigost's presence that I simply knew my place was by his side. You probably noticed the age difference. No, not really. What? Are you implying that I look old? <laughs> Nothing of the sorts. Anyway, so it looks like you're anchored here by love. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, you could call it that. Or blindness, or stupidity, or judgment, maybe. <laughs> Whatever sounds best to you. Pretend all you like. You fell for the grandpa with sad eyes, and you know it. <laughs> I did. He annoys me sometimes like nobody else. Yet I can't imagine breathing about, breathing without him now. But don't let me go all soft on you. You've surely got some places to go. It was a pleasure talking with you, Donabrego. Every second of it. Here, I know it's not much, but it will come in handy when starting a new life. Everything costs coin these days. I really appreciate that, but I'm not looking for charity. I'll manage. Oh, come on. Don't try to be a hero. Sigh. Men. All right, do something for me then. It won't be a hat out. It won't be a handout, just your first pay. That I can agree on. What do you need? There's a farmer in the village. She's called Yurogniwa. Yurogniwa. She usually supplies the tavern with rye, but we haven't gotten anything from her in a while. My stock is almost gone, and you don't even want to imagine what would happen if these people, to these people when we run out of beer. <laughs> Consider it done. While we're speaking of beer, Unigost asked me to grab a couple for us. Of course, here you go. Great, thank you. He promised to tell me some stories about Jordan. Oh, I see. Well, in that case... Wait, did she give me... Did she give me more beer? Yeah, she did too. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Donabriga. That was really nice of her. Very right done. Okay, let's go talk to Unicos. Is business you? Alvin? There he is, Unigost. Hey, Unigost, you're looking at the proud house owner from the valley. I'm back bearing beers. Rasimir, a job well done indeed. All right, let me wet my throat with this ember goodness and start reminiscing. I knew Jordan for 22 years before he died. He was my best and truest friend. A brother, actually. I remember the day we met as if it was yesterday. I was 25 at the time, living in the big city of Yellowberg, where I was born. You could say I hated that place, but still, it was the only home I ever knew. Maybe someday I'll tell you more about it. Anyway, I was forced to take care of my own, so I did. Doing the only thing I could do. Stealing. You were a thief? I was, and a bloody good one, if I say so. <laughs> Picking pockets was my bread and butter. I could steal a piece of steak right from your fork and you wouldn't even notice. It wasn't greed that motivated me, just survival. 
but I'd be lying if I say it, said I didn't enjoy the process. Stealing is still a crime, no matter the motivation. I'd say you'll you'll want to wait and hear a bit more before getting all high and mighty on me. I'm sorry, go on. I had an annual we had an annual festival at Yellenberg. It always brought me it always brought a whole bunch of outsiders to town. You can imagine what that meant for a man in my profession. I could do a good day's work. I could do a day's worth of work in a matter of minutes. I grabbed a few coins here and there, some jewelry, a pair of new boots. Then I saw a nobleman with a money, money bag strapped to his belt. He was basically begging to be set free. I sneaked behind him in the crowd, like I did a thousand times before. Child's play. I gently grabbed the pouch, did a little shimmy magic, and there it was, sitting neatly in my palm. Just needed to turn around and disappear like always. And then, wham! I was punched in the face by what felt like a bull. <laughs> I was so, so shocked I didn't even realize what happened until I hit the ground. My head was pounding. I could barely see straight. And do you know what was the first thing I saw next? Another glow coming? Ha <laughs> ha. No. A smile. A big radiant smile on the face of the man with two different eyes. It was your Uncle Jordan. The one I took for a nobleman. He stuck his hand out, helped me get up, and offered me a beer. <laughs> Just like that. Wait, he did realize you were just trying to rob him, right? <laughs> of course he did. I don't get it. That's just how Jordan was. You see, your uncle was deadly clever. Smartest man I ever known. Hands down. And he could see the world like no one else. Predict things. He was always at least a dozen steps ahead of everyone else. So, on a rare occasion, somebody surprised him. He was intrigued. And he wasn't expecting you. Indeed. Apparently he... Even despite my failure, I was still one, the one that came the closest to robbing him. And he liked that. I'm guessing you accepted his invitation, right? I didn't really have a choice, did I? I was terrified of the guy at that moment. So we went. He took me to the most expensive and most crowded tower in the whole town. I remember that it was the day of the festival. Even entering that place was next to impossible. He didn't seem to care, though. In a matter of seconds, we were sitting at the table being serviced by two barmaids at the same time. It was surreal. In my mind, there was only one explanation. He owned the place. And did he? Not at all. It was the first. It was his first time in Yellenberg. It all felt like a dream, to be honest. Especially with me still being dazed after the punch. I was still sure he was a nobleman. His manners, his clothes, the way he talked and moved. And then he chugged a beer like it was a race. Wiped the face, wiped his face with a sleeve, and burped like a drum. <laughs> he went from the lord to the savage, just like that. Snapped his fingers. And I relived that moment a dozen times until I realized why he did that. It wasn't a mistake. No, no. No laziness, no moment of weakness. He wanted me to see it. To understand it. Understand what? That he was full of crap! <laughs> you see, Rasimir, your uncle was one of a kind. He was a true master of arms, and his weapon of choice was his confidence. What does that even mean? Imagine a closed door with two armed guards at its sides, and you want what's inside. What are your options? You can force yourself in, bribe the guards, try to pick the lock, but Jordan, he just holds his head up high, walks right in, and demands the door be open. Uh, you're, you're right, that, sounds, that all sounds surreal. I never knew that about my uncle. My mother's stories were quite different. Because I'm afraid she knew quite a different Jordan than me. Than everybody in the pack. Wait, the pack? Oh dear Rasimir, there is so much more you still don't know. Our story hasn't even really begun. But it's getting late. Come on, you can't just leave me hanging like that. All right, I'll tell you a bit more. After that beer we had, we had a couple more. And then some mead, if I remember correctly. We were talking about our past, our dreams, convictions, started making some drunk and absurd plans. I thought that we were just joking, to be honest. The next thing I remember is waking up in silk sheets. I'm guessing they weren't yours, correct? Are you kidding? It was the first time I'd ever touched fabric like that. The ceiling in the chamber was so high it could fit a giant. I thought I was dreaming. Then the servants walked in. I was ready to flee, but instead of fighting me, they presented me with breakfast. Really? How come? It was all Jordan's doing. I've never found out how he managed to pull it off. Whenever I asked, he just burst into laughter. 
even years after that. Needless to say, I left Yellenberg with him that day. First time I went outside of the city's walls and never came back. That was the day the pack was born. And three years later, there were five of us, a real team, a family. We called ourselves the Reminders. Oh, how I wish I could have been there. It all sounds incredible. I uh, never had adventures like that, and probably never will. Easy, my boy. It wasn't always fun and lovely, but it's a tale for another time. It really did get late, and I'm sure you still have a lot of work to do. Come and find me tomorrow. We'll talk some more. I'll do that. Thank you, Unigost, for everything. Right on. That's pretty cool. I have to learn a little bit about my uncle. It sounds like quite the fella. A sassy lad, indeed. <laughs> Right, uh, wait for the next day. We need to do some hunting. Eating is essential for survival. When the food parameter is depleted, you will start to lose health. You can obtain various nutrients from foraging, hunting, and farming. All of the food resources rot over time and may cause food poisoning. Discover different ways to preserve it for longer, such as drying, salting, or preparing meals. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead, have ourselves a bite to eat. Uh, what do we have here? Porridge, less stamina consumption, less stamina consumption, dried meat, uh, less food consumption. Mm -hmm. I think we want to eat one of those. Dried meat. And then an oat roll, so that way we're full. And then we'll head back home. Which way is my home? This way. And back to the river so that we can have ourselves a little sip of water. And then um, there was a quest about a farmer or something that Dunabriga was saying needed to go collect some rice. We'll probably do that next. Set some traps while we're waiting as well. Hunt a wild animal. Survive for a season. Yeah, so we got a couple of different little missions and stuff to uh, to start working on. So pretty impressive game so far. Enjoying it a lot. Characters are very charming. Yeah, we are going the correct direction. Okay, we are. Let's keep on cruising this way. Stop off at the river, have ourselves a little sip of water. There we go. Quack. <laughs> duck or something. All right, let's head on inside here. Uh, let's drop off oat ale plus 50 water, 30% alcohol. Temperature tolerance, less water consumption, effect duration 1100 seconds, 5%, negative 5% poisoning. Cool. A type of alcoholic beverage brewed at the brewing station in the tavern requires a beer bottle. Uh, can be consumed. Watch out, it goes to your head. Right, let's put all of those in there. Uh, we'll keep the rest of this. Should be good there. All right. I think that is where we're going to leave it for today, folks. Uh, yeah. So that's Medieval Dynasty. Pretty neat game. Pretty solid. Uh, I've enjoyed it so far. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it seems to have a really cool game loop. Uh, kind of like a um, survival game mixed with an RPG. So it's a really interesting uh, dynamic there. I'm getting some Skyrim vibes. A little bit of... Uh, yeah, a little... A, Kind of a little bit of a bunch of different games that I've played in this uh, in this vein of the of the style of game, so I'm really really enjoying it. Um, if you're enjoying it so far, please leave a like on the video as it does help in the algorithm. Uh, if you've played Medieval Dynasty or you're planning on playing Medieval Dynasty, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like to know more about the game, down in the description you will find a Steam link. You can click on that, and it will take you over to the Medieval Dynasty page, and you can try it out for yourself. 
Down in the description, you will also find all of my support links as well as my Discord link. There's a bunch of different ways that you can support the channel. Uh, you can sign up for Patreon, get early access on all of the uh, 60 minute showcases and everything like that. We do have a special going on right now where you can get 50% off your first month if you sign up between now and December 25th, at Christmas day. Uh, you can also support us through stream elements using tips so you can throw a couple of bucks in if you'd like to support the channel that way and uh, we also just launched our new merch line called sassy beans merch line uh, so if you want to get yourself a mug or a sweater or something cool like that uh, from the merch uh, you can help out that way as well don't forget to stop by the discord and leave your vote for your favorite 60 minute showcase that i've done so far and either get high votes we will do a recase the showcase and dig into a game a little bit more and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so that you can get more great content like this. We will see you all next time. Happy hunting, survivors.